Okay, I'll give it just a moment, but maybe not because I'm going to treat this like a regular video, even though I'm going live. I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis, and I am going to be unboxing my ColourPop order. Let's get to it. But first, if you haven't already, you know what to do. All right, I can't do the like subscribe thing because I can't insert the photo, but like, subscribe, um, share. Definitely uh, hop on the live if you're here. And if not, please keep it going for the replay. I'd really appreciate it because of course, like everybody else here, I'm trying to grow my channel. Now, uh, before I get into the ColourPop order, look what I picked up at CVS. How cute is that? Oh, and yes, I'm not wearing any makeup I'm, except a tiny bit of lipstick because I'm home and recovering from foot surgery. So that's good times. However, at least while I have, isn't that freaking adorable? Come on, you know I had to have that. And it smells like pears. It smells like pear. This would make an amazing stocking stuffer for Christmas, y'all. As you know, that's what we're all thinking about now is, is the holidays and gifts and all that. So, yeah, this would be amazing. All right, another non sequitur. Hi, Jennifer Griffin, good morning. Yeah, so I've gotten to the point now where instead of having to wrap my entire lower leg in a garbage bag, I'm down to having to wrap my foot and ankle in grocery bags. However, it still takes way longer to shower than it really should. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more lotion on because I am really dry. But I mean, it's not a ton of, not a ton of product in here, but I think you know and I know. And we all know that I really bought it for the container because it's a little pear and it's freaking adorable. <sighs> but this stuff smells amazing. It really does. If I knew how to refill, how to buy a refill product that smells like pear, I would. Oh, Jennifer, yes, what happened? Um, I I just had my fourth foot surgery. The th and just the third within a year and a half. <sighs> I, yeah. So years ago I had a, it was in 2011, I think I had um, heel spurs removed. Hi, queen of hearts. Hello. I had heel spurs removed and I had um, a plantar fasciotomy. Okay, so years go by, I'm fine. Then I start having problems again. I go, I get another one of those surgeries. But this time, you know, months are going by. I still hurt, I still hurt, I still hurt. So then I go from, from seeing a podiatrist to an orthopedic surgeon. The orthopedic surgeon, after much testing, including nerve conduction study. Hi, it's me, Wanston, yes, honey. How are you doing, baby? I was just explaining what is going on with his freaking foot. Yeah, so I had the uh, I had the nerve conduction study. That was not not enjoyable at all. I got lucky and they were able to cut it short. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm I'm in the air cast now. I'm I'm out of the splint. But I had my Achilles. So then I had my Achilles tendon lengthened. Okay, doctor thought that should take care of it. Months go by, months go by, months go by, still hurting. So, Candy says, hey, hi. <laughs> I was just explaining what's going on with, with my freaking foot and all the million steps I've had to take about it. Steps. <sighs> Unintentional dad joke. Anyway. So, the, so, even after these two surgeries, I still hurt. So I went back to the orthopedic surgeon and he finally got my insurance to agree to an MRI. And um, they said there was a bunch of scar tissue and 
bone shards in my heel. So that's what I had done now is to take him out. But while he was in there, he discovered that I have tarsal tunnel syndrome. And there was a nerve that actually went into the scar tissue. So we had to move the nerve. Yeah, good times. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that this is the last surgery on this foot so that I can attack the other one. Because the kid is graduating from high school in June. So, and he says he wants to join the Marines and he's been saying this for quite some time. So I'm starting to think it may actually come off. <sighs> Thanks, Jennifer. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> I need to blow this channel up. <laughs> I need to become a booty guru. Hi, honey. How you doing? It's my husband. But um, yeah, so then my husband's disabled. So I need to be able to support us. Oh, he's, you know, he's looking into finding some work that he may be able to do. But what it comes down to is, you know, he'll, he has this little social security, which is going to be reduced by a third once the kid graduates. So I have to be ready for whatever comes next. And in order to do that, I need my feet to be fully functioning and not in screaming pain all the time. So A, I can have jobs where I need to be on my feet if I need to. And B, I'm not walking around with an attitude like I'm going to kill everyone all the time. But let's get into it. Color pop, yes. And yes, I'm hiding my address because it came to my house instead of my P.O. box. Because of course it did. Oh, oh, just for fun, last night. Hang on, I gotta grab my, my channel knife. This was once a paring knife. I broke the tip off of it, depotting an Urban Decay blush. So yeah, I was really stuck in there. Okay, let's open it up. Color pop, color pop, color pop. Now, I really wanted the new, um, their latest nine pen plastic palette that came out. The um, words, the going coconuts one, but it was out of stock during the sale, and of course I hit the sale. Yeah. And I always wait until I have 30 bucks worth of stuff to order because I'm cheap. Ha <laughs> ha, speaking of the lilac palette, I bought it. So I'll pop that one out first for you. Okay. I like, I like you a lot. Super cute. All right, yep, it's a box and I have, I've been getting rid of a lot of boxes or cutting them up, but I am keeping these boxes mostly because I don't want them to get all scratched up the next time I move. So this is so cute. I, I really like this format. Pow, baby. Hey, Blood X, how are you? How are you? Oh, cool. Yay, people are in my live. There's six people. I think this is the most people I've had in my live at once. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Check each other out if you haven't already. I'm not a grow stream, but I'm certainly happy to. Uh, yeah, so let's open her up. And I won't take the thing off yet. Oh, she's pretty. Jennifer and Candy. Hi. Oh, oh she is pretty. This, uh, this is so much prettier that I see on, um, that I've seen in their photos. So, yeah. If, if I could walk better, I would take, you know, I would, well, when I can walk a little bit better, I'll do swatches of the whole thing to, to put on my skin because I have, um, oh, probably blood. I am a makeup channel. But you're not the only male I've had in my streams. So that's good. But I'm, when I can walk a little bit better, I will do swatched videos of these because I do have um, kind of an odd skin tone. I'm pale, I'm ivory, 
I'm neutral, but I seem to have a, a slight olive undertone. So that might be helpful for people. Ari, no, I just cracked open my lilac you a lot. So I'm really looking forward to playing with her. I'm, yay, I'm so excited. Oh, but Ari, I was gonna, I have to show you this. Look what I got at a drugstore. It's called CVS here, but it's a little pear with hand lotion that's scented like pear. Ugh. I adore cute containers, cute packaging. Um, yeah. Now, blood. Yes, blood. It will teach you for your other half. ColourPop is a great deal. Um, their, their products are generally really good quality and they're inexpensive. Like these little itty bitty, like these little palettes here, 12 bucks. 12 bucks. Okay, so now we've got the smoke show. We're all stars now of the smoke show. Yes, great. For your college goth queen. <laughs> it was funny, when my, my, when my sister saw an ad for this somewhere, she sent it right to me. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, it's on the list. So the smoke show. I wore mostly black and gray eyeshadow in college. Let's see if I can try to get that to show to some justice. Maybe there, that way. There we go. That's showing better. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a I have a black, white, and gray quint from um, LA Colors. So I'm feeling pretty good. I really like these. Ooh, let me see this Ignite shade. It's got a little bit of, uh, it's got a slight purple undertone and a little bit of glitter in it. And while normally glitters in mattes can be annoying, I'm not mad at this one. Let's, I'll, I'll be very interested to see if the glitters actually stay or if they blend away into oblivion. And yes, I bought four palettes. Why? Because I wanted to get my order up over $30. And this, um, except for the Going Coconuts one, this catches me up on my nine pan palette collection. I... I'm not getting the Aha uh -huh Honey or the Orange You Glad because I'm I'm not really into yellow or orange, and they both have press glitters in them. I um I have seen these last few palettes. Oh, I know what I no, I'm not caught up. I didn't get the strawberry one. Didn't I? Wait a minute, what? I'm confused. I thought I ordered the strawberry one. Huh. I'm going to have to look into that because I could have sworn I ordered the strawberry shake one. Um, no? Little card. Great. I got to check my order, but I can't because I'm recording. But, oh well, I'll have to get the strawberry shake next time I order. Now the peach, I'm a, oh, dang it. Okay, so here's the Baby Got Peach. Oh, cute enough. I'm not a big peach person, but you know, on occasion I might need peach or use it for somebody else. I want to experiment more with it. Oh, these peaches seem quite on the orange side. Uh, I don't know if I made a mistake with this one. We'll see. I like Centerfold. <sighs> Hungry Ghost is a freaking pressed glitter. This is bull crap. What, what, what am I supposed to do with that? <sighs> well, let's see. It's half baked. Yeah, those are way orange. I might wind up giving this one to my sister. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I'll take this back with me when I go visit the family and see if. I'll experiment with it, but if I wind up not liking it, maybe I'll give it to my sister because she's she's got a more 
yellow undertone than I do, so she it might look good on her. We'll see. I'll have to see if it looks any good on me, but my husband doesn't really like orange on me. Oh, and the final one I picked up is Blue Moon. Oh, wait a minute. I remember. I think maybe Stra was Strawberry Shake sold out. Oh, this is going to bug me. Now I'm going to have to check. All right, but here's Blue Moon. And while I'm not much for blue eyeshadow, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> fruit bowl for breakfast, really wanted a jelly donut. See, I would have had the fruit bowl because I can't eat the jelly donut. I haven't had a donut in years. I'm gluten-free. You know how hard it is to find gluten-free donuts? Okay, so the Blue Moon palette. And they do have some nice, unique blue shades, which is why I picked this one. I know the cases are so cute. I'm, pr I'm probably going to pop. I'm going to be traveling over the holidays, and I want to take some eyeshadows with me. I was thinking about maybe popping my um, ColourPop ones out of these and just putting them in a Z palette. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous, Jennifer? I mean, this... This is going to be a lot of fun. I really like this periwinkle shade here. I mean, I do have another periwinkle, but it's not, I don't think it's quite the same. And I prefer this one anyway. So, ah, oh, yeah, it is gorgeous. So, yay, my first live unboxing. I know I wish I had more stuff, but, you know, your girl's kind of broke. So I'm just keeping an eye out for another sale, and then I want to get the strawberry shake. I want to get the going coconuts, and then I'll, I guess I'll see what else I want. But I, I'm going to have to wait a while because I just had to have my car towed. <laughs> yeah, that was enjoyable. That was not enjoyable. So I've done my unboxing, but as long as we're all here, if hopefully everybody's subscribed and Feel free to share me out, share the chat. So what else should we talk about? <laughs> yeah. um, it's blood. It's, it's, a, it's a form of artistry, really. I mean, like not all women are into makeup. A lot of women just wear, wear it because they feel they have to, to be socially accept, you know, to be socially accepted. And to some degree, it's true. Um, you know, especially for professional put together look. Thank you, Queen of Hearts. Aww. But um, but for some of us, it, it's a form of artistry, just like with you know, just like fashion or painting or anything like that. So it's 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 kind of it's fun. It's it's hard to explain, but I've I've been interested in makeup since I was ten. So. And you know, theater makeup and just transforming your face. I I really want to get more into some uh, some theater looks and um, special effects looks here, um, drag looks. So those are part of my goals for 2020, is to be able to get a bit more out there. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Oh well. I, I'm I'm glad I'm actually able to sit at my chair now because I, you know, sit in my little spot because I've my last few lives I've done out of my recliner and I can't get a good angle and it's just like okay I just feel all busted but I did it anyway because it's December and it's a vlogmas and I'm bored <laughs> because I'm just stuck at home not going anywhere not doing anything except goofing off on YouTube. Oh, so let's see. What else should we talk about? Anything good going on here? Yeah, the ca the camera shy thing. I'm. I guess maybe in a way I had a head start because I was I was a DJ in college. I mean, and it was just radio, but well, I started in radio, and then I also went to you know mobile DJing and club DJing and stuff like that, but. But when you're doing radio, I mean, for the most part, it um, it's kind of like recording a video to me because I speak a little bit and then, then, then I would just put the music on. 
here when I'm making actual videos, I speak a little bit, I hit pause, I, I hit stop, and then I do it again <laughs> so that I have the editing. Yeah, so that, uh, that's why in my regular videos you'll see these these fun transitions and that's where I hit stop and then do it again <laughs> or where I cut something off where I just didn't like it <laughs> or had to, hey sis how's it going you missed my uh, my color pop unboxing I was oh Frida as long as you're here I was gonna ask I picked um I picked this palette up but as I'm swatching it on myself, I'm a bit annoyed because I'm starting to think it may be too orange on me. So I was going to see if this on you, you can look. I mean, I can't. I'm not really sure that I could. Okay. I, all right. I'll, tr I'll try it on just for giggles, but I think this is going to be yours. <laughs> So there, Merry freaking Christmas. Now, if you want to, if you want to pick up that wizardry and witchcraft palette, she's like, yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. Kaya, sorry, Kaya. What's what's up with Kaya? Where's Kaya? Oh, no, it's free. Oh, it's free to K. <laughs> she's my little sister. So, subscribe to her channel too. She. She, she doesn't have a makeup channel. Her channel is um, is about life with um, chronic illness. I'm, I'm a bit, <sighs> I'm stuck at home, but it's, you know, it's more temporary. I tend to get temporary things. She gets, she's chronic. So, ah. Yes, more of this pear stuff. Oh, my, my hands are just drinking it up. Once I'm done with my live, I'm gonna do some skincare. I would just do it here, but I'm, it's a, it's for, it's a PR thing and I'm, I'm doing a whole video on it, so I don't want to give any spoilers. <laughs> that's why I'm, that's why I'm not doing it now. So, while well, you'll have to wait for me to do that, so will I. Oh, I'm feeling a bit dry. And then I'd consider doing um, doing a mask, but eh, I don't want to put a sheet mask on and then be trying to talk. That could just get awkward. Am I missing? There we go. It's about how boring you are. Oh, whatever. Oh, I know what I can do. Since I'm done with my unboxing part, I can do my empties. All right, because I've actually gathered them up in a reasonable fashion. <laughs> so some of you may be familiar, some of you may not. Um, I, I do participate in challenges called Project Pan. Oh, hi, Candy Sass. All right, get some breakfast, girl. I had M&Ms for breakfast. So this is for October and November because I forgot to do a November one, but that's okay. It's well, first off the, um, the color tattoo still working on it. I don't think it's going to be done by the end of the year because for the most part, I am not wearing makeup when I'm just sitting at home all busted. Oh, however, woo, that is, that has gone down a lot. Yay. Oh, uh, where is that? Hang on, I'm looking for something. Oh, uh, okay, the house gremlins have taken off with my brow pomade. All right, that's interesting. Oh, this house has gremlins. Oh, oh, let me tell you. Yesterday, my husband found one of his pitchers because he, he makes cold brew coffee, so he does it in, in pitchers. He found one of the pitchers in the cupboard above the refrigerator, which is also behind baskets that we put bread in because we have two separate ones, one for 
regular bread and one for gluten-free stuff for me. So it's a, above the fridge, behind the baskets, in a cabinet. He found his pitcher with coffee in it. <laughs> this place is gremlins. I swear. Now it's like my freaking brow pomade. That's hilarious. I've had, I've had like once I was undoing, um, oh, it was like a lip pencil. Yeah, so you have gremlins in your office. You know what it's like. So I would, so I was, uh, I think I was sharpening a lip pencil and I was talking, gesturing, and the inside flew out. And when I went to look for it in, in the area, I saw it land, gone. Absolutely gone. The strangest freaking thing. This place is bizarre. Okay, so empties. Since I, um, yeah, as far as new empties, not much. This is going down. I don't know if you can see it. Eh. Um, I'm going to try to finish that by the end of the year. I don't know. Okay. I finished off this hand cream. Uh, this, this is the Silk Elements Shea Butter with Olive Oil. You can see I am serious about my empties. <laughs> And um, I got this at Sally Beauty. I bought three of them, and I really wish I'd bought a case. This stuff is wonderful, and I'm so mad that they don't have it there now. So annoyed. See, now that's normally where I would put in a transition, but since this is live, I can't do that. The Flower Beauty... Um, words it's a matter it's the mat they're mattifying setting powder okay the powder is very effective for the mattifying love that part of it hate this stupid container i thought it was cute and it won't roll right <sighs> so annoying i wound up having to take this thing out and just dip my brush in it the other thing I don't like about this powder is that it um, is that it would leave a white cast on my face, and you know, setting spray in a little bit of time would help. But if you look at some of my videos in oh, I'd say probably October, September, October, you can definitely and before that you can sometimes see a white cast on my face as I've done my makeup. It's this stuff. It's gone. I. And I'm upset because if they had this in a more light, fleshy colored sort of translucent shade, I would buy more. But white, nah. Nope. Finally finished the Sue AE Purifying Black Charcoal Mask. This is one where I, I used it once and then I used it a second time because I'm cheap. It didn't stick to my face as well the second time. I did get a tip from a subscriber that that you can pick up um, dry, like little, these little dry pellets that when you soak them in the serum, they, they turn into sheet masks. So I might pick some of those up on Amazon at some point. So I don't feel like I'm wasting serum. That's one thing that annoys me about sheet masks is they're kind of expensive for what you get. But I, I'm not mad at it. I liked it. Ding dong, it's dead. My I, my uh, physician's formula. Oh, have a great weekend, Queen of Hearts. And yeah, Jennifer, shea butter is the bomb. Um, this is the color correction and care CC cream SPF 30 in ivory from Physician's Formula. Finished it just in time, just in time, because it was starting to get a little too dark for me. You know, with the seasonal change. Um, one, two, three, four, five, four no strips. The Up and Up brand. I have a video where I'm testing these. Spoiler, not a fan. I'm just trying to use them up, but. Not a fan. The one thing I do like about these is the way that they're cut. They don't come too close to um, your delicate under eye skin. So that's nice. But other than that, 
Not really. Finished off an Urban Decay eyeliner. And a Bosha Mini BB Cream. I have two more of these, but they're going to have to wait until I get a little more flesh color. And I also finally finished off my CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation. And again, cut it open because your girl don't play. <laughs> again, another transition would happen right there if I were editing, but I'm not. <laughs> that's, the, that's the weird thing about doing the lives for me is, is the continuing of the talking because I'm I'm much I'm used to talking in bits between the radio and the other DJing and and uh, making videos it's very like you talk a bit you transition to something else you come back on and talk a bit and you transition to something else oh let's see oh look what I picked up at TJ Maxx for two bucks oh P peter can talk thank you oh that's wonderful king the boy thank you for letting me know this is the urban decay makeup meltdown or meltdown makeup remover this is the lip oil stick i thought this would be nice to try but i did not want to pay full retail for that because that was just way too much i also picked up this elf face roller to try see it's got bumps on it but it's not, um, I've been really hesitant to get the, to do the microneedling th thing. Hi, Peter. How are you, sweetheart? But um, yeah, I'm just going to try this out for a while and see how I feel about it. Another TJ Maxx haul. Let's see, is it going to make me pretty? Is it going to make me young and gorgeous? No, but will it help my skin? Okay, good. But I've been wanting to try this because, um, you know, just to see if it does anything. So I should have done for my skin. But I watched Julian Beeson, and she said that she uh, doesn't recommend the the rolling micro needles because it can kind of tear up your skin, you know, because of the movement. So yeah, that's why we're at. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm I'm glad. I mean, he. I assume he's still resting, right? And King Du Bois said his brother's happy that he's not sick anymore. I'm like, yeah, I would I would be too. So who's all here? Let Let's do. Let's see who's all here. I see I've got five people here. Four likes. And um. Who else is here now? Hopefully everybody didn't leave. <laughs> Although, geez, I should have brought my drink over. Ah, picking up, okay. Can you guys hang on for just a sec? I really just, I really need a drink. So just hang on one sec. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I can stumble around my house a little bit without my crutches, so let me try this. That's so awkward. Ah. awkward in one person. Oh, I have to duck under the wire for this light. It's actually a lighted, round lighted makeup mirror because I don't have a proper ring light. <laughs> Bring you a drink too. Oh, all right, Liliana's here. Ari's here. <sighs> okay, looks like I lost one, but Oh well, still needed a drink. Yes, I drink straight out of the two liter. Why? Because I'm a honyak. You know, it's because when I was in college, 
we had those little teeny tiny dorm fridges, but you know, can, cans of soda were expensive and two liters were cheap. So I learned to drink straight out of the bottle because cups would get knocked over because of course they do. And, and I learned to enjoy it at room temperature. And I still won't, like still if I order a soda in a restaurant or something I or fast food, I always tell them not to put ice in it. Partly because I don't like it super cold and more importantly, because the ice waters down the flavor. Oh, his favorite, what's his favorite breakfast, King the Boy? They're making his favorite breakfast to celebrate. King the Boy's little brother was in the hospital with influenza and he was released yesterday. And so now he's home and we're all thrilled for him. Pancakes, that sounds so good. I haven't had pancakes in ages. Jay, make me pancakes. My husband used to make me pancakes. I don't cook. That's for everyone's benefit. And, you know, and that includes the, the landlord. So I won't burn his house down. Oh, boy. But yeah, okay. I think I'm going to wind up giving giving Frida my baby got peach. I'm annoyed by this, but okay. And um, I've got to keep an eye out for the strawberry shake. It's probably back in stock now. So yeah, so I, I'm just, I was looking over at my pile of ColourPop. I have a whole ColourPop collection. <laughs> Maybe I'll film me like depotting these just to, you know, for travel and putting them into a Z palette. Cause I definitely want to do videos while I'm traveling. Right now our current plan is, um, Oh, sick was bad for him, but now he's better. Yeah. But the current plan is to, um, is to probably, I'll probably spend a couple of days with my stepson's great grandmother while, while he and my husband go into New York city to visit, um, visit some friends and relatives. And Jay's always wanted him to see like, you know, the, the you know, the big, Christmas decorations there and that sort of thing. So, so they're going to go have their little experience and then we're going to, and then after Christmas, we're going to head out and go visit my enormous family. <laughs> it was, it was funny because when, when my kid was much younger, he's, uh, he's, I think they asked him in school what they were grateful for, and he said he was grateful for his enormous family because he has all because he has all these relatives to see him. Oh, good! Oliver came over to to see Peter. I'm so glad. That's cute. You know, it's 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 nice when your friend when your friends can also be friends with your brothers and sisters. Yeah, I'm like I'm still friends with with a couple of my childhood friends and I don't know, one or two of their sisters and or my sister's friends. I don't know, it's, it's really nice. I'm so glad. So, uh, so Kane, were you able to hold it together? Well, you know, while, while people needed you? Well, you know, I, I, when when we were growing up, our family wasn't really big. It was just the, you know, the three, four, or five of us for a long time. Yes, that's right. He's 13. Um, but then, okay, so then we acquire Mike, <laughs> who is um, who's my best friend from college. But he's basically become our brother to the point where my parents paid for his rehearsal dinner. For his wedding. <laughs> okay. Um, then, you know, so then we've got Free, Frida's kid, Frida's stepkid, and now Frida's step-grandson. 
And then um, my other sister has two little girls and a stepson. I've got a stepson. My brother has a son and two stepkids. So, yeah, you know, it just expands. We keep getting all these people. <laughs> but that's that's kind of that's fun of it though. That's how it works, right? It expands if things go well. I suppose it contracts if it doesn't, but fortunately. Oh, that's right. Mike's son's new stepsister is coming to the ornament make. Emma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so, I'm I'm so glad that she's able to come to that. That's great. Yeah, and my my stepson has two little sisters and the you know the the older the older one is um oh she's my buddy and then the younger one is a little sassy thing she doesn't know me as well because they moved an hour away um and then he has a uh then he has an older stepsister yeah collecting strays we've always collected strays we, my my mom while my mom was an only child, um, her mother wasn't, so she had a lot of aunts and uncles and cousins. So my mom always grew up with these really big family gatherings for holidays. And when I was a kid, my great aunt would have a big family um, party on Christmas Eve. So we always went to that for a long time. I don't know if Frida remembers it, probably not, but... Oh, yeah, we used to go, and for a long time, we were the only kids there. So we got lots of presents. So many presents. But, um, yeah, then we... Then, of course, as we were growing up, we bring friends. Do you remember when Stepkid had a girlfriend? Yes, I remember that. Frida's stepkid had a, a girlfriend... And then even after they broke up, the girlfriend was homeless. So she lived with them for quite some time, even after. <laughs> Wasn't she a little put out that you still let that girl live there? But I'm glad. How is she doing? Oh, he ran into her. Excellent. Gloves with the rabbit fur rather wrists. Yeah, I, I, had, I remember those because they, we usually got matching presents. Like, you know, like she'd get one color and I'd get another. Your mom had 10 siblings, Jennifer. Oh my gosh. She looks good and happy. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. She was a nice kid. But yeah, that was... So mom, mom loved us bringing friends. I mean, we... Oh, let's see. I think there was one year for Thanksgiving that Marion... Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Your husband has a zillion uncles. <laughs> Catholic Poles, lots of kids. Let's see, Frida had, um, Frida had a, 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 a New Orleans refugee. Um, my brother invited a couple of friends from grad school. Oh, uh, yeah, and, th and then, of course, we also had our, had our roommate with us. 200 grandkids your grandmother had 200 grandkids oh and and peter and oliver are playing xbox excellent my son plays xbox a lot that's why i can't always that's why i can't go live more often as he's often on the xbox yeah the hurricane katrina relief work i remember him he was a nice guy have you heard from him Yeah. Oh, and then that cousin of your husband's would come and visit it sometimes. Was that Lonnie? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you know, life. But I'm <laughs> great grand, great great grand, and great great. My goodness. Oh, Lonnie got married. Okay. Well, good for him. 
Good for him. Um, but yeah, the, uh, oh, oh, should we tell them about Carol? <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to have to tell them about Carol. Okay, so when we, when Frida and I were kids, my grandparents had a summer place on, um, on a lake. It was in a, <laughs> Carol, it was, it was in this park called Sandy Pines and it was, they had like trailers and airstreams and stuff on, on little plots of land. And it was a whole resort park. I mean, it had a big pavilion. It had all kinds of things. Um, and we would go visit my grandparents there in the summers. But also uh, my mom would have a stay there. Yes, the golf course. My mom would have a stay there for a week during Bible school. So that, uh, you know, there'd be enough activities to occupy us to keep us out of grandma's hair, but that we could spend more time with our grandparents, which was really cool. And my grandma had a friend who had an adult daughter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the usual thing, you know, you go in, you make the popsicle stick, God's eyes, and you know, all that crap. But the, uh, <laughs> but this friend of my grandparents, they had this adult daughter around, you know, around my parents' age. And this woman, okay, like my mom was tall, you know, tall, fat, um, die. Yeah, um, um, and you know, very pale, sort of milk and honey skin. Carol was dyed red hair, hella chain smoker, and um, and her skin looked like Samsonite. She, you know, she was one of those sun worshippers, so her skin just looked awful. It was just so brown and wrinkled, long nicotine fingernails. I didn't remember the fingernails, but yeah. Was, but anyway, this woman was always flirting with my with my dad. Yeah, I mean, we played we played with her kids some, and you know that was all right. And she was always very nice to us. I think because she wanted to be uh... Raphael. Okay, five year old cousin. Boy, your house is yeah, Kingdom Boy's house is full of kids, full of kids. Um. <laughs> but she was always very nice to us, I think, because she wanted to be our stepmom. But she would always throw herself at dad. And then some years ago, thank you. Who tries to steal a man right in front of his wife? It was just, yeah, it was just shady as hell. And then some years ago, she she apparently called the house and spoke with, was it you? She spoke with or Emily. Um, but <laughs> she called in one of my sister's said, uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're doing well, still married. Oh yeah. It, it was, I, maybe it was you. I can't remember if it was you or Emily, but <laughs> it's like, yeah, yep. Yeah, she's still here. She's still alive. Yeah, that's true. She wouldn't know better. She was, she was little when we stopped going. Yeah, that was probably <laughs> well, unless she'd just been told about old <laughs> Oh, I still Frida's daughter was was in our family chat and we brought up her name and and um <laughs> I was just like, oh god, Carol and, and her daughter's just Who's Carol? What? Oh, all your brothers and sisters? Am I going to be able to remember that much? I've got Peter and Oliver and Kane. So that's that's a lot. Alrighty, so give me a little time with that. It takes me time to learn names. <laughs> but yeah, and then and then Frida, but then you guys would go visit them over in Texas over spring break, but you didn't start that until I was in college. Cool names. I know, right? Well, Oliver's the friend. Peter's the kid who was sick. Kane is kingdom boy. So, uh, yeah, let's see if there are any other names. I probably won't remember them all, but every other spring break. Well, I didn't get to go because they didn't start that until college, and my spring breaks were different than yours. 
Yeah, and I had jobs and crap like that, so. Like our, our aunt that lives in Texas, I didn't really get to know. Yeah, probably a money thing. Isn't everything always? Oh yeah, Farida, I just had to have my car towed last night. Let's see. Ashton, Adam, Noah, Dylan, Zachary, and Katie. That's half of you. He's got a big family in the city. Which, how in the heck people do that? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. And mom didn't really start working more until I was out of high school. I know, right? We, we can hardly afford the one we have. Oh, which reminds me, he's going to be 18 on Monday. So he's having hard cases of the feel, so I've had to put up with that. And I'm back. Okay, let's see. Birthday denied. Jennifer has six sisters and four brothers and another brother from her dad. Holy crap. <laughs> Living in a cardboard box. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, it's all, like, like, my husband and I don't have any kids together. We, you know, we just have his son. But it lives in my house. It eats my food. It's mine. So, yeah, he's my son, too. You know, none of the rights and most of the responsibilities. Step parenting. No, he's, I'll keep him. He's all right. But, um, yeah, we'd, uh, we'd hoped to have a kid together, especially when we wanted a girl. But it didn't happen, and we've, we've settled into that. So we've had so much else going on with... Now him getting hurt and all all this stuff that it was it's probably for the best though it does make me sad once in a while. C'est la vie. Okay, so well, wow, this is my my first palette that I'm probably going to declutter to my sister. I've given her a few other things, but she gives me stuff too. So you know, that's how that's how it works. In, in our family, a lot of possessions tend to be kind of fungible, communal, that sort of thing. We would, we would usually wind up sharing cars and like we'd have our car, like we generally have our own car, but it's like, okay, whichever car works the best, mom gets the next best, the girls get, and then the worst dad gets. So... You know. Oh, let's see. Boy, I kind of lost a little steam after my after my uh, thing dropped. Actually, it's oh, and I'm I'm coming up on an hour stream. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna need another sip of my cognac soda. Dr. Thunder. Uh, let's see. But I am so looking forward to going back and, and seeing all the kids. I'm trying to think how many how many kids are there to buy presents for now? Because I don't do them for any anybody over 18. I ain't doing it. You're an adult, whatever. So let's see. I've got let's see. Brother is one, two, three. Sister has two. So five kids. Okay, that's not so bad. I can deal with five kids for presents. Trip to Ollie's, all set. Oh, especially if I can catch Ollie's when they have the uh, the Spanish language things, because my my brother's son is in a Spanish immersion school. So, oh, the last time I went there, I picked up um, I picked up I got a a kit or like a kit and some books for him in Spanish, so. And I, I bought I bought the same kit for my niece, but 
the English one was more expensive than the Spanish one. <laughs> oh, which I just, you know, is kind of hilarious on some level. And, you know, this, it probably says a lot about society and another. <sighs> but, oh well. Actually, uh, I think I'm going to wind it up. Unless anybody can think of something else to talk about here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. I just lost that. Yeah. <laughs> you were only mad for five years. Okay, I, I was thinking people weren't talking. <laughs> yeah, it's it's something it's something our grandmother used to say to us. Um, Hanyak. When when we'd be running around acting out, she's like, Don't be a Hanyak. <laughs> You're acting like a bunch of Hanyaks. And yes, we still use it. It's... Yep, pretty much. Dr. Thunder! I don't know why, I just saw that name and I just, I just came up with that and it became a bit, so. But it's good, it's, it's, um, it's the, you know, cheap version of Dr. Pepper, and it's 62 cents for two liter. Elmegs, hey, hi, how are you? I, oh, geez, Elmegs, I didn't see you popped in. That must have been, must have been when I wasn't seeing the chat for some reason. That is freaking annoying, hi. Oh, and, Oh, King Du Boy. No, I was talking about my son. He's uh he's gonna be he's going to be eighteen on Monday. My kid. The one that lives in my house and eats my food. What did I get from ColourPop? I got baby got peach. Um and I'm giving this one to my sister because it's too orange for me. I'm annoyed. And then I got smoke show. Oh right, I should show you the inside of Baby Got Peach so you can see what I mean. I'm annoyed. It has a press glitter and and um, it's quite orange toned. I'm annoyed. That one's going to Frida. So then I got Blue Moon. She's pretty. Smoke Show, which is like blacks, whites, grays. Really nice goth one. And one called Lilac You A Lot. Oh, blue has been coming back in a big way. It's huge now. Purple. So, you know, I want to have some blue on hand because it is big. Oh, you've got everyone on legs. Oh, awesome. We still need to get Frida to put her face on her freaking avatar. Well, if you can't figure it out by the time I get there, I'll, I can help you out with it. I don't remember how to do it on the phone. I think I have to do it on computer and I don't, my computer doesn't have internet right now. We'll sort it out. And I'm just gonna play with my little elf roller. It feels so weird. Boy, what living in one big house? That's nice. Then you know, a big house, because then you can have your privacy. I know, right? The smoke show is really cool. No, it's it's just um it's just silicone. So there's no real point in in um in refrigerating it. I w I would refrigerate like the the stone ones, but I don't have one of those yet. But the stone one would be kind of fun to refrigerate. Um, but yeah, the smoke show is really cool. I'm going to do some, yeah, like a jade roller, quartz roller, um, something like that. But yeah, no, this, this, this one's just silicone because it's got the little bumpies there. But um, I'll, I'm, I may get 
like a, a quartz roller or jade roller or something along the line. I just haven't done it yet. I always see something prettier. Oh, oh, gross. Oh, those jade eggs. Oh, no. No, I would never buy something like that. That's disgusting. That's, that's just such a terrible idea. Can you, Frida, can you imagine mom's reaction to that? To just, just picture, picture if you will, her reaction to that. <laughs> our mother, our mother was a nurse. And no, I don't have a skincare fridge. I wish I did, but I don't have the budget for it. I need somebody to send me some freaking PR with one. Yeah. Oh, mom would definitely get clinical. Everybody got their own room. I'm trying to think, Frida, how old were you before you had your own room? Didn't you have to like leave home <laughs> before you got <laughs> before you got your own room? Oh wait, no, because when you left home, you moved in with your daughter's father. So, Did... oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's let's talk about let's talk about our dad. Okay, so our mother was a nurse, and the you know the topics were she, she was very frank about a lot of things <laughs> and um and she would you know she would talk about her work and um <laughs> and my dad missed a lot of it because he worked well when i was a kid for he worked third shift and then he worked second shift so he only had a couple of days off but we Occasionally, we would all be at, at the dining room table, and Mom would be talking about work and <laughs> and talking about bowel impactions because she worked in a nursing home, and it happens a lot. And so, you know, of course, if someone has a bowel impaction, that's act, that can actually be very dangerous. So you have to get it out <laughs> with your fingers. So she would discuss this at the table, and my dad would get this really tired look on his face. And he would say, can't we talk about something pleasant? Like the birds or the flowers. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Jennifer. <laughs> I know it's so weird that he's so squeamish. He was he was a medic in the Navy too. Oh, and that's that's sad that your parents got divorced. Ours didn't. There were a couple times that they came close, but it didn't happen, thank goodness. But um, yeah, so dad would just get this really tired look at us. <laughs> oh, and what you know, once uh, once I got to my well, yes, we know you loved yours, but you know, but I'm glad that we didn't have to deal with our parents getting divorced. Um, where was I? Right. <laughs> right. Uh, so the, uh, <laughs> it got to the point where my brother and our roommate, like anytime, like somebody was sick or anything like that, we would, um, <laughs> we would all say, oh, you broke your arm. Well, oh, we see a bone stick out. We know it must be an impaction. Let's let's take care of that. Snap. So we were would always joke about it. Yeah, they they were there was some craziness for a while. I think I think it was when mom was hitting the uh, hitting the perimenopause and the menopause. She went a little she went a little crazy. Oh, but. Oh, yes, yes. You broke Emily's arm, so we took care of her impaction. <laughs> Emily broke your head. <laughs> yeah, Emily, she's a, she's pretty mellow now. But, you know, and people meeting her think, oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, nurse family humor is weird. But she was a vicious little child. She didn't have toys. She had blunt instruments. <laughs> One time, Frida had the misfortune to say the N-word to her. 
No. Yeah, that, that was, that was it. Yes, you did have stitches. So Emily took a glass orange crush bottle, whacked her right in the forehead with it. And of course, at the time, my mom was working third shift at a nursing home. So the rule in the house was, don't get me a knot unless there's a blood. And, you know, not just a little bit that you can handle, but blood. So I go upstairs. Mom's asleep. And, and I say, Mom. Mm. Mom. Mm. Mom, get up. There's blood. Mm. Mom, get up. There's lots of blood. <laughs> so she had to call in and take Frida to the ER and all of that. So <laughs> that's a that's a common one in the family. Oh, and then there was another time when I, when um there, there was a gifted and talented program at a, a local college. So my mom did the driving for it. So there was me and two boys. So, and um uh, <laughs> I Oh, yes, when you broke your collarbone, she put a bag of peas on it, put you back to bed. I remember that. And then I remember having to help you shower when you were like 13 because you because you couldn't do it with a with the brace and all that. So I had to help you shower, which I'm sure you just loved having your older sister shower you at 18. But I suppose it could have been worse. It could have been dad. <laughs> oh, but so. I am in the front seat because I'm not a dummy. The two boys are in the back seat with Emily in her little car seat. And she's, you know, she's got her, got her doll and playing. And one of the boys starts kind of teasing her. And my mom just said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> he didn't listen. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, whap, ow. And my mom's just, told you. <laughs> Dang it, is this hiding text again? Oh, your brother has a question. Yes, Peter, what is your question, honey? What is your question, Peter? See, I I, I think I think Kane wants uh wants some crazy ants. So we're we're giving that to him. He needs some crazy ants in his life, I guess. Said, why is his game lagging? Um uh, I don't, I don't know. It could be possibly because you're watching the live stream and it's taking up a good bit of bandwidth. Yes. Um, actually I should probably wrap up my live. I've been on for over an hour. Um, and if you want to chat with me about gift miss, that's cool. Um, yeah, so I, I'll, I'll free up your bandwidth Kane and, um, I will catch you later. I'll, likely be on live tomorrow because I'm really trying to to have something up every day this month for vlogmas so um my regular scheduled videos are three days a week but like today instead of a scheduled video I'm doing live so I should be on quite a bit so I am going to go and I will see you all soon who knows if I get really bored maybe I'll go live later so keep an eye out Thank you so much for watching, supporting the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.